Hi everyone. I welcome you all to the Tech Podcast. I'm Ishika Kesarwani and today we're having Sarvanan Ganesha. He's a, a specialist at L&T Infotech. So we can first start with your introduction. Yeah, hi Ishika and uh, hi Gungi Skill team for giving me this and thank you all for giving me this opportunity. Uh, it's been a, it's my pleasure to share my experience in this podcast with every. I am actually uh, uh, I am Sarunan Ganesan having a 8.5 years of experience in uh, information technology field and I have been uh, uh, oh, currently working in Nilanting in Infotech as a uh, especially role in uh, IIoT uh, BU and I started my career with Tech Mahendra as a .NET developer and then I actually slowly I have been uh, uh, moved towards an IoT for yeah past six years or six and a half years I have been working on it and then actually uh, 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 I have been yeah, uh, yeah totally work for three organizations in and in that actually as I told you earlier my first organization is Tech Mahendra where I got lot like, lot of opportunities to to uh, uh, work on both .NET and this robotics part and IoT as well and then actually. From there, I have been moved to uh, after two and a half years of journey there. Actually, I have been moved to the te- te- uh, co- cognizant technology solutions, and there also I have been got some young ample of opportunities to move, work with uh, uh, the IoT uh, te- technology and then both dot net and everyone actually. And then actually uh, after a uh, successful two and a half journey from there, I I learn I have been. Joined in the Alenting Infotech, which uh, yeah, which I can tell actually, uh, for this past four years, actually I have been yeah working with with the uh, Infotech, and I have been uh, implemented a lot of IoT related projects here actually, and then uh, and so, and then it's been kind of around 20 to 25 projects I have been worked so far in IoT Nelent Infotech itself actually as a part of I am also a part of a uh, yes yeah, center of excellence team in, in IoT for Nelent Infotech, and I have been. Um, um role here is actually to um lead a team of uh, some 10 to 15 people and then i ne- need to tell them what is iot and i need to groom up from various technologies like uh, device engineering cloud or in azure and then actually to gui api creations etc actually because you know you guys want to know, uh, know that actually that uh, iot is not only related to device actually uh, it's a it's a combination of your yeah, four or five segments actually like uh, you mm, some in, in, ingesting the data from device to the cloud and from, from the cloud to the visualization part actually so it includes it's a it's a teamwork of uh yeah, four to six developers who, who uh, to whom we need to have on the team like uh, the, the cloud engineer device engineer and then actually if you see uh a yeah, ui engineer and ux engineer with a uh, dpa skill sets actually and apart from that, actually, if you see uh, the data which we got from um, IoT devices, will not be get uh, has to be used for some AI ML based uh, things also actually to get make benefit of this IoT te- technologies actually. And then actually, if you see uh, here, uh, uh, m- 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 my journey in and uh, this um, IoT for past six and of seven years actually, I have learned many things like. Uh, 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 yeah, how to work with uh, uh, these various gateways actually we have a lot of gateways in uh, uh, in, in the world now actually with the uh, own uh, yeah, both having the open ended gateways and closed in the environment gateways, gateways actually. Most probably I will be working on this open ended gateways, which will run on this Linux based platforms actually. Okay, so uh, uh, in this actually, if you see uh, as a as a starting point, if you can ask me where I started my this young uh, how I got uh, uh, enthusiastic towards this uh, IoT means actually during my college days uh, actually uh, and in the year of 2010 actually we started our robotics project actually uh, uh, which is a uh, uh, fully automated of uh, fire extinguisher uh, uh, bot actually okay and there we actually created a bot which will uh, uh, extinguish the fire automatically without any normal intervention and it also uh, can navigate to the place in a yeah, building. Uh, yeah, uh, without any human intervention, and they can de- detect a fire, and it can extinguish it. Actually, yeah. From there, my journey got started from from a development board called Neutrino, and now actually I've been uh, uh, working on various protocols of IoT and. Uh, um, this actually this development boards and then gateways, cloud technologies, etc. And then actually, if you see. Um, 
and i also want to tell my that uh, that project uh, actually has been selected for tamil nadu state council for science and technology and from there actually uh, uh, we got to have yeah, so much enthusiastic towards this robotics and iot and slowly when i entered into uh, my uh, uh, the, the corporate career actually in the field of it you know actually we need to adhere to the uh, projects and all but i can tell you the uh, to all these students who are listening to this podcast you are uh, passion is different and your project is different actually so for many cause actually please don't let your passion down and then actually you you need to continue learning your uh, the things which are required for your passion to grow in that day only i uh, actually uh, in this past in 8.5 days actually i am still learning the things actually which are uh, revolving around the markets actually uh, so uh, you st- don't stop learning the technologies actually and then you can need to adapt yourself to technology which is uh, uh, actually um, which is booming around your uh, 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 in your environment as well actually in the night arena and then if you see uh, some people uh, i have been heard actually i, I uh, yeah uh, yeah i have interest towards robotics that my um no but my uh, the project which i got in my offices of mainframe or testing how can i pursue like that you you actually start working on your project which uh, which is not uh, your passion but in the parallel you can uh, um, yeah work on your uh, um, things which are required for your robotics also and then actually or in iot and you you can approach your manager or your senior management level and tell them uh, team I, i have interest towards these things i want to implement something which can give some good new business ideas to me actually to the company as well and give it to the company as well like that if you guys approach them daily i will tell you all the managers or any, any team leads can encourage you actually and they can also uh, try to Uh, yeah, assign you some key KOCs in the form of uh, uh, which is yeah which will be um, uh, uh, good uh, uh, initiative for that particular organization to go in the IoT or robotics because in that case only I, I started my journey like that I am approached my first um, uh, organization yeah manager he he actually backed me a lot and he actually had a lot of uh, yeah faith on me to uh, to give up toc on iot and robotics and then i also um, learned a lot uh, from there in my tech mahindra organization which is my first organization and then i moved uh, to cognizant so, um, yeah i this is hard one question so like yeah. how has it things changed like when you started and how it is now like in the yeah. uh, basis yeah. of technology in the base of technology if you see when i started my career that time we don't have azure actually that is a time where the azure getting yeah built up actually okay uh, if you see actually nowadays actually uh, the uh, the things are moving in a very good way and we have some good resources in the cloud earlier and all if you see we need to work everything from the non prem data data centers actually i i need to take the data from the devices and it ingest on non prem data premises and i need to do lot of network related works actually there but now if you see we have since we have a cloud based uh, uh, platforms actually that actually uh, these uh, things have been it changed a lot actually uh, i i uh, i i can tell actually in the form of uh, uh, programming languages also if you see in earlier actually pe- pe- people used to work on the, the only the java dot net or uh, cobol like that actually if you see c or c++ but now if you see the people has extensive hands on in this python and then actually if you see uh, uh, they rust to programming for for the device side and they actually also if you see the dot net also now evolved actually from a uh, dot net framework 4.5 to dot net core which can support all the pl- platforms actually uh, since it's a platform independent so things have been changed very much drastically in the in, in the past uh, actually 6 years so i hope so the students need to take advantage of these things and they can needs to and um, they needs to st- start the things working towards it actually yeah so so for so what advice will you give to the students who are recently starting with your expertise on or on the technologies that you've been working with like how they can start with it being in college you know along with their college studies and focus on extra skill sets how can they do that 
yeah actually if you see uh, the whatever you guys are doing actually uh, it's a, it's a based on the individual's interest only actually okay uh, so f- yeah for example yeah uh, 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 yeah uh, i have been serving this in microsoft community for past almost 6 years actually okay and i've been uh, and i've been a part of this microsoft uh, azure Den- yeah, developer c- community lead for yeah past 6 uh, to 7 months actually okay in that case if you think uh, the students has to engage themselves to some communities uh, which they can be able to, uh, which they can f- follow up their post and they can follow up their uh, uh, what's the technologies they have been introducing in um, microsoft like that actually they can be able to uh, uh after joining the communities only they can be able to uh, uh gaps the things actually so if a person wants to build their career but um, means in the terms of iot means actually uh, he needs to actually uh, be very much prominent in learning the device side actually first of all like uh, he can start with some arduino board which is a uh, yeah very cheap and common thing and uh, yeah nowadays at college to see how students can get it actually and from there they can um, improve it to this single board computers like raspberry pi or banana pi actually yeah so, uh, so after learning these things they can uh, actually since i i hope so actually microsoft giving a lot, lot of benefits to these students by uh, 365 days you have a free trial of azure cloud and all actually so they can make utilize of this uh, azure cloud and they can start uh, ingested data what they getting it from sensors which are connected to this uh, devices and they can make utilize of this iot services which are available in the azure and they can start their things going on actually once they get clarity clarity on these things actually means after they entering into the industry they can have some advanced things like that they need to learn about some protocols like in mqtt and in amqp in tcp ip and all actually so this is the way the students have to groom themselves to towards iot actually uh, so i've seen that you have also cleared a lot of certifications so like from the student's point of view what certifications would you suggest them to clear off to at least get a minimal job and how much benefit can they get it by clearing of these certifications yeah actually from the certification point of view question actually i want to add one thing uh, yeah whoever we were actually uh, new to the cloud actually i mean for, in, yeah especially to azure they need to clear the certification called fundamentals of Azure actually, it's called A is at 900 actually. Once they clear this certification only, they, they will be very much clarity about what is the cloud computing, what are the services we have in um, Azure environment actually. Okay, once that is completed means actually if they want to do any specialist in, uh, uh, for example, Azure IoT developer specialty uh, certification is there, A is at 220, they need to they need to take this certificate, they need to analyze what are the skill sets they require because nowadays Microsoft Learn is giving a lot of materials which are related to these certifications and they can also see that actually in the GitHub's also they have a lot of labs which are ready to deploy and they can start working on the topics which are relevant to this certifications actually okay so and 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 moreover if you see for this certification vouchers actually the microsoft ha- has some ambassadors in each and every university who are eligible can they actually they can take or uh, wants to take up this certification they can they are reach out to the particular ambassadors and they, they can actually the student ambassadors can take the names and they can give it to my microsoft microsoft is ready to give, uh, give a yeah, free voucher for those particular students who are interested to take the exams actually from my point of view certification is very important and it's actually to make some things clear regarding a particular uh, uh, specialist kind of things like actually if you see uh, a is a 220 is done completely into IoT. if you see a 102 is there is a certificate which it uh, actually which will tell us about uh, uh, only the cognitive services and the ASQ services which is there in Azure actually and then if you see A is a 204 which is a Azure developer it will only tell us the services which are associated in the Azure for development yeah, purposes like Cosmos DB or uh, uh, some things like uh, uh, the virtual machines creations or in Kubernetes cluster creations and all actually so the students has to be clear first of all before taking a certification but whatever certification they takes or whatever 
start they choose actually before that they need to clear a certification call a is at 900 then only they will get clarity what is cloud actually yes sir also one more question i wanted to ask you since you've been working on c sharp and dot net technologies so like i have heard people saying that this language is very complex and it's better if we use some other technologies so what's your opinion on that why people are still working on this technology <laughs> regardless yeah, the actually, fact that it has become so old and it's still very you know complex to implement actually if you see uh, all the programming languages you take actually one thing is in common actually if you know uh, object oriented programming lang- uh, uh, concepts means actually Uh, actually it is better because if you take a, 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 a apart from c sharp if you take java or a python also there also we, we actually we need to create a object and we need to create, define a function and all which is a, um, actually uh, which is a most common in our uh, c sharp only also the only thing if you see the, the difference between our uh, programming lang- language or the syntax each and every programming language has their unique syntax actually okay but but actually if you see why c sharp i mean actually if you want to nowadays azure is actually uh, uh, supporting lot of programming languages like python node js c sharp and all actually okay but uh, if you see actually um, before dot net core come into a place actually um, the dot net framework 4.5 which was introduced by microsoft if you see in that case actually it's, um, uh, we if you want to use any microsoft products means actually that microsoft stack is a different thing actually we have a open source stack and a microsoft stack actually okay so if the people wants to who's uh, uh, things are completely into microsoft like uh, azure and then uh, tfs or uh, like that means they will go go they yeah, go for this dot um, net track yeah, the kind of thing but now i will tell you and when compared to other programming languages actually dot net core has evolved a lot and it's not that much complex now actually uh, uh, so why people are still using dot net core is its performance towards uh, uh, the end points are daily good when compared to yeah another open source uh, uh, programming languages actually yeah and dot net core also now it's an open source only actually since uh, it's a platform independent yes so so you have come to a very long way now and you know you have seen all the paradigm shift that has happened so what yeah. tip will you give to the students that you have learned through your journey yeah actually if you see yeah before i getting my first job actually i have been uh, 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 yeah most of times i uh, 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 instead of doing on campus interviews actually i used to matter for off campus interviews because you know that uh, then on campus interviews and off campus interviews are very much difficult and they will have a lot of questions to us actually and we have we have more don'ts as well actually okay so if you you need to come out of your comfort zone and if you try new things only actually we we can get some succeed and put out of it actually and then only some self confidence will come among yourself actually okay and then actually if you see you need to have a lot of uh, uh, patience towards everything actually yeah yeah for, yeah, for example uh, in one interview actually you might have went till third round and then actually next interview you you, yeah, you might have went till only the first round means in that case actually yeah you should not not stop learning actually you 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 should need to learn from each and every failures you are actually gaining it's not just just a, uh, it's not just like actually if you have failed in one thing means actually you are you are losing a thing it's failures or the stepping stone of the success to a path actually which is uh, destined uh, uh, for you actually so each and every failure if you do actually some mistakes in your life or in a technology only you can learn new things actually so actually i i i want to tell everyone uh, the uh, who are uh, who are actually waiting for a job or they wants to uh, attend the interview means actually let's fail learn fast and learn the things quickly and get the things quickly that's all yeah thank you i guess with that we can wrap up today's session thank you so much sir for giving your time to us and sharing your journey with us and i hope that the students were able to take out something from this podcast and yes. to all the listeners thank you so much for joining us and stay tuned because we're going to come up with many more videos like this have yeah. a good day yeah. thank you everyone thank you shikha and thank you the skill team and microsoft for giving this opportunity actually thank you so much yeah bye